Hey, welcome to uh, NLC Live. You know, this is a church community. It's right where you are, man. It's right where you are. Or woman. It's also right where we are. It's right where you are. It's right where you want to be. NLC Live, a church community. Right where Dot you org. are. Oh, Tyler, do you want to go bowling or do you want to do an arcade or do you want to do more? What is it? Arcade fire. Whoa. Whoa, where are you, where are you going? Where are you, where are you doing? Hold on. Black look. Oh, boy. Thanks, Dad. Again? <laughs> you better stop! Hey, I'm gonna destroy you. What? Oh. I was raised on the streets. <laughs> we out here. I gave it. Why did you film you? Who made that? Okay, boys. Let's check your power. I think you're just kicking as hard as you can. Whoa! It's a power level. He's over 9,000! It's over 9,000! This is you. This is you. Wait. Remember what team was that? They lost it for the Pat, uh, the Pat and Eagles. Yeah, that's them. Oh. All right, you're ready. Out of time. Well, that's it. You want to do a devotional? I feel like it's worth it for <laughs> two kicks. No, right? that was a waste of money. There's a lot of different reasons why we struggle to forgive. And one of them is we don't think it's fair. Yeah. God doesn't use us, use this fairness logic like we do. Yeah. We think it's like this is the scale and it's balancing like this. Yeah. He, he doesn't hand out forgiveness based on merit. No. And aren't you glad that he doesn't? Oh, you can guarantee I'm glad. Neil. I'm ver glad. Why you said when well, you can be glad. In Matthew 18, uh, verses 21 through 35, mm -hmm. it, it, Jesus tells us a story about forgiveness. In Matthew, it talks about how this man owes a king millions of dollars. Millions. With millions. An M, right? With an M, not a million. Million dollars. One million dollars. Yeah. But he begs the king for mercy. And the king cancels his debt. So the, this is Jesus talking. So that means it's red letter. you got to listen to that. As sinners, we owe a debt that we can't pay. No. But God shows us mercy. Yep. The blood of Jesus actually paid our debt in full. Like so, completely. So we, in that in that uh, parable, we are those people that owe him millions of dollars. Yeah. And he just struck it clean. So the sin... So the second man in this story owes the first man a few thousand dollars. Just a few thousand. Now, keep in mind, that first dude, he had millions of dollars just thrown away. This other guy owes him yep. thousands. And this guy doesn't let that dude off the hook. That would be, the analogy is like, Jesus erased ours, why can't we erase a little bit somebody else did to us? Which is way more, Neil. And he's like, no, no, bro, like I'm not doing it. Yeah, Jesus isn't the other guy. Yeah, the other guy. Matthew 18, verse 29, says, be patient with me. This is the guy he's begging with him. He's like, be patient with me and I'll pay it. He pleaded, but his creditor wouldn't wait. Nope. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. First off, how are you going to pay your debt when you're in prison? You can't work in prison. There ain't no internet. You can't like sell things on eBay. I'm going to move over here because Neil's knees hurt. Okay. <laughs> so Jesus uses this story to warn us. If we don't forgive others, God's not going to forgive us. Yeah. The forgiven must forgive. Bowling. <laughs> So this story goes on, and the king heard about this man who wouldn't forgive somebody else. He's like, brother, you're not going to forgive him after I just forgave you? And he had him thrown in jail, and scripture says he had him tortured until he could pay it back. Not just you got to pay it back, but he had him tortured. Tortuga. Tortured. From the Isle of Tortuga. To the Isle of Tortuga. That's from uh, Michael Bolton, Lonely Island collab. Can we use that? Yep. So what this tells us is we need to forgive. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if it seems fair to you or not. God has been more than fair towards us. Showed us mercy when he did not have to. So this is this is what the Bible calls a parable. It's just a story. It's one way for Jesus to show us through looking at another story what's really going on inside of us. And we should probably listen and 
try to apply that to how we can live today in yeah. 2019 or if you're yep. watching this in 2020 yep. or 2021 2022. 2022 stop copying me all right hey guys let's pray lord please help us to forgive from our heart not just because we think it's the right thing to do but because you've forgiven us and we love you for it in jesus name amen 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 Want to get another round of that b-ball outside cool. of the school Let's with a go. couple of guys who are up to no good? Let's go. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. We got in one little fight. And my mom got scared and said, "We're down here, in the air. Prince of Bel Air. Prince of Bel Air. Prince of Doo 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 Doo. Doo. No. I can't hold this all day. All day. This is what we call the double deuce. First try. You win every time. Look around, wow. Slade. Coming in. I never lost. Never lost. Bob, sign us out. Bye, guys. Hope you know your dad. That's Buddy the Elf. Bop, 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 bop,